Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. I am very excited because I'm doing a book haul. Um, also, I'm wondering if I should keep these glasses on because maybe they're too distracting with all the, you know, the glass windows and stuff and the brightness. So we shall see. But yeah, so today I'm doing a book haul. These are all the books that I've hauled recently enough. So I have loads of other books, but this would have been in the last month to two months we'll say um from kind of various different places so this is not going to include library books um or kindle unlimited books only books that i have bought so even though i do have extras due to my subscription to kindle unlimited my borrow box um app with the library and also going to the physical library i'm not going to count any of them these are just books that i have bought so yeah, let's get into the video. Okay, so let's start with the physical book. So the first one I have here is We Were Liars by E. Lockhart. I am excited. This is on my TBR for this month and I'm looking forward to reading it. I'm not going to do like synopsis or what any of these books are about because otherwise we'd be here forever because there's quite a lot of books here. So this is the first one. The next one is Wednesday Walks and Wags by Melissa Storm. The first books you see will be um, ones from my June TBR. And I got this in April actually. It was a gift from my mom because she knows I love books and that I love dogs. And this was actually before I decided to start my bookish journey and booktube and book talk and bookstagram and all that. Um, so she just knows me very well. So that's this book. The next one is How to Buy a Home in Ireland by Kiran Mulqueen and this is a book to help me and Joe um, buy a house hopefully this year, maybe next year, we're already into the second half now of um, the year so it could possibly well be next year rather than this year but we need all the help we can get because it is hard to buy a house in Ireland so <laughs> this is hopefully going to help us. Now the next book I have here is Book Lovers by Emily Henry and uh, this one I'm very excited to read. I know that I'm probably the last person in the world who has yet to read this book. I hear about it all the time. I hear about the good reviews. I've actually never read anything from Emily Henry either so you know um, I'm excited to start reading her books too and yeah uh, this is on the TBR for this month. Next I have Summer at the Kindness Cafe by Victoria Walters and uh, this is another summer read. I love these types of books this time of year. Just something easy to read in the sun um, with your iced coffee and mocktail or whatever you want to drink. This is just something I love to do so I'm really excited. This is also on the June TBR. This is a book you would have seen if you watched my reel when I went thrifting and I picked up Arusha and the End of Time. I actually didn't take off the sticker yet that was on it um, and I got this book for one euro so I thought that was a bit of a bargain and this is in middle grade and I actually love middle grades so I'm actually excited to pick up quite a few of them this year. This will not be on this month's TBR, but I think it probably will be on maybe August possibly because it's kind of a tradition transition between summer and autumn. So I think possibly August time I'm feeling this, but we'll see. I think it's kind of a retelling or, you know, it's got some kind of um, associations with Aladdin, but I'm not quite sure to be honest. <laughs> The next one is a big boy and this is another one that I got while I was thrifting so you would have seen it in that reel as well or on TikTok and this one I paid four euro for and it is Jonathan Strange and Mr. Mr. Norrell by Susanna Clark and this is one that I'm so intrigued by that I've heard a lot about and yeah it's like a weapon you know that's <laughs> so big actually I didn't look under the dust jacket um oh there it's just blank but that's okay um so 
So yeah, I'm really excited about that one. I've heard good things about it. It's just kind of the thought of picking it up because it's so big. But I feel like this is a winter read, maybe, you know, with a cozy book. Um, Because I like fantasy and magical realism and things like that during the winter months, the autumn winter months. That's when all the magic comes out for me. Next uh, summer read is The Roommate by Rosie Danan. And yeah, I'm not quite sure what this is about. Again, it's just a summer rom-com type of book. And when I looked at it, I like it, it just says temptation just across the hall. So you know it's going to be one of those kind of meat cute type things. And to be honest, I'm all about that. So uh, I picked that up. Next is another very popular book. And um I am late to the party with this one as well, as with the next one as well. I'm very late to the game with them, but I'm excited about them. So the first one is The Love Hypothesis by Ali Hazelwood. I haven't read anything by Ali Hazelwood yet. Um, I Again, I am late to the party with this stuff, but you know what? It's summertime. They're easy summer reads. So I think I'm going to check this out in the upcoming months. Another possibility would be February, you know, with the whole love um, thing there. Uh, but either way, I'm excited to check this out. So, like I said, with the next book, I am late to the game, but I am excited to be joining it. You know what? I should probably, you know, check how many times I've actually said excited in this book. And you're going to hear it a lot more because I only really pick up books I'm excited by, you know, so... That is this one, which is The Hating Game by Sally Thorne. And it now is on Netflix. Yes, I hate when they do this because it ruins a book. But what are you going to do? So my plan is, I don't know about you, but I'm the type of person that I can't watch a series unless I've read the book, if I'm interested in the book and series. So, for example, with um, Harry Potter, couldn't watch any of the movies till I read all the books. It just, just was the way. Haven't watched lord of the rings or game of thrones um to be honest i'm probably not going to watch game of thrones i know you can come at me in the comments but i don't think it's going to be for me now in a couple of years time or even a few months i might be totally eating my words and being like remember when you said you'd never uh read that or watch that well now you are but i don't know it doesn't seem like the thing for me right now but that could change um yeah, so I can't watch the series. I can't watch the series for Good and Evil um, or School for Good and Evil. Uh, what else? The Witcher. <laughs> and, and there's a couple of others because I haven't read the books yet. And I want to read the books before I watch the movie because or the TV show, because if I watch it and I already know what it is going into the book, it makes me less interested in the book. Don't know why. It's just like, oh, I already know what's happening. Why? You know. And then if the book isn't the same, then I'm like, I read the book. So, <laughs> so yeah, I have to read the book first. So I am going to be uh, reading this and hopefully watching it afterwards. The next one, I feel like I'm probably late to this one too, because it has a thing saying as seen on TikTok. Um, so maybe, maybe I'm <laughs> late here too. But this is The Cheat Sheet by Sarah Adams and yeah i mean again it follows along the same line there's not much diversity in this um hall when it comes to you know genres or age groups to be honest um but i think that depends on the season you know when it comes to autumn winter you're going to see a lot of like magical realism cozy autumn reads fantasy um when it comes to uh, like halloween time spooky season halloween november or october november it's going to be murder mysteries cozy mysteries possibly thrillers you know it's just it's the time of the year for it and this is another one to add on to that train again it's like a rom-com it's a slapstick comedy you know easy reads to enjoy in the sun the next one is another dog one or a dog related one and this one is the dog share oh it's a bit dusty I haven't had it that long. Uh, the Dog Share by Fiona Gibson. And apparently, um, I think it's just about a girl who finds an abandoned dog 
and then I don't know how this boy gets involved but I think she meets new people through the dog or something like that maybe he's the dog's original owner you know I don't know why I'm speculating here I could just read the back of it or you know read some sort of review or something on it but yeah look I love dog related books as well um, like I said in my last video, dogs are my other passion and my um, website will be up and running now for all about dogs, love our dogs. Our podcast is going live as well this month and it's called We Chat Dogs. So if you're interested in that, I'm going to leave it all below. I feel like I'm explaining it terribly right now. Um, but yeah, basically my other online life is all about my dogs. I'll leave my dog's channel down below as well where I just, you know, vlog and take you around with me and spend time with my dogs and all that. So anyway, yeah, that's why you will see dog related books come up quite a lot in my hauls. My final two physical books are both thrillers. Um, so as you'll know from my last haul or my last video that I am dipping my toe into the world of thrillers and things like that um and this one looked really fun and actually looked like a bit of a mix and a good way to you know dip my toe into the thriller world but it also in a genre I'm comfortable with and this is called My Killer Vacation by Tessa Bailey um when I saw this I was like very intrigued I was like okay so it's like you know very rom com -y look like is that a word i'm not sure it looks like a rom-com but obviously it's a thriller as well and yeah i just really wanted to pick this up and finally for my physical tbr this one has stickers on it as well i also picked it up at the thrift sh store or as we call them charity shops over here uh, my dogs have obviously started playing now in the living room, so hopefully that's not distracting. I paid this, uh, I paid three euro for this book, and it does have other stickers on it as well. But anyway, so this is The Vacation by M.T. Logan, and it looks a bit scary to me. Um, it actually, when I look at it, I'm like, do I really want to start this book? <laughs> so, um, and then it's got a lot of reviews and things on the back. But I did promise myself that I'm going to start on thrillers, so this is going to be the one. You know what, maybe I should vlog myself doing those thrillers. I'm actually, a sneak peek, going to have this in my Summer Ween TBR, which I'm already vlogging for Summer Ween anyway. So, yeah, we'll see. Um, so that's it for my physical TBR. So let's talk about my Kindle uh, not TBR, sorry, book haul. So let's talk about my Kindle book haul. These are only books that I have bought from Kindle and, and is not including Kindle Unlimited. So the first one I have here is Legends and Lattes. I am so excited to read Legends and Lattes. Um, it's one I heard about last year uh, during the autumn set time. I don't know why I didn't pick it up then. I think I always thought I'd get a physical copy. And then this time I saw it. If you ever are on Kindle and you have Kindle Unlimited, even if you don't have Kindle Unlimited, you can check the daily deals and you can also check the, there is 80 books for 80 pence or one, year, one pound or something like that. Now I'm in Euro, but it still says pounds on my own. But for one pound and it's like 80 bucks, I got a couple there and I also got a couple on the daily deals and they were like 99 cent or 86 cent yeah. or pence, I should say. That's where I found all these. So when I found Legends and Lattes, I think it was for like 86 pence. I was like, okay, gotta pick it up right now. Really, really excited to read that book. The next one I picked up was another Christina Lauren book and it's Love and Other Words. Um, I read my first Christina Lauren book uh, just recently uh, behind me there, The Unheimowners by Christina Lauren. I just did my um, re uh, short review on it um, on, and it'll be up on Instagram or it is already up on Instagram and it's already on TikTok. So if you're following me either places there, you will see my short review on it. Um, I'm not going to give you any spoilers about that. But uh, I decided to pick up another book by her, which is Love and Other Words. And yeah, 
uh again i think i got it in that deal it was like 99 pence or something so the next one i picked up is another one of that um same type of genre that we're in right now uh love and you know rom-com and that kind of thing so it is the layover by lucy walden and i've heard a lot of things about this book i know it's a very popular book i know i'm late to the party so you know there's so many parties i gotta catch up on and there's only so many hours in the day but i am trying okay i am trying to be at the party so i checked out the layover and um i'm not sure what tv or it'll be on right now but in the next couple of months the next one that I got is The Moneyless Man, which I thought was interesting. It, again, it was in one of the deals. And basically, it's all about a guy who tries to live without money for an entire year. And I just thought that was such an interesting premise because, you know, while we're trying to buy a house and all different things and saving and everything's just so expensive. I mean, I have a dog that's, you know, got health conditions, that's expensive. And then just like regular life as well. So I just thought it was an interesting concept. I mean, like, am I going to try and live without money for a year? No. Um, but you never know. You might learn something out of it. So anyway, picked up that. And then I got the Agatha Christie collection for like, I think it was like pound thirty or something. And there's like eight books in there and it's all Agatha Christie. I will be reading these come autumn winter. I am planning on doing maybe a whole vlog dedicated to Agatha Christie and cozy mysteries and things like that. So that is one of the reasons I wanted to pick up that collection. And I'm just looking here to see is there any more? No, I think all the rest are... All the rest are Kindle Unlimited, which I am very excited about. There are some really cool ones there, but they're all Kindle Unlimited. So that that is all the books. Actually, before I go, I do have one audiobook that I want to include, and that is Chill and Prosper by um, Denise Duffield Thomas. And this is actually the second time I've read this book, accidentally. Uh, I've read Get Rich Lucky Bitch. I've read Ch uh, Chillpreneur, and Chill and Prosper is actually a second edition of Chilpreneur which I didn't realize so I actually bought it a second time but I'm enjoying it and I always enjoy Denise Duffield Thomas's content and if you're into you know finances in any way as in from just a um, home perspective modern perspective not you know when it comes to actual financial stuff like accounting and stuff then I highly recommend her she's all about being the money queen and when it comes to business or your home life but especially business and how to like chill and prosper as an entrepreneur so if you're an entrepreneur I highly recommend you check her out um so I'm halfway through the book but I could probably already do a review seeing as I've already listened to Chilpreneur um but yeah so I bought that again for the second time, but you know what? It's okay. I'm not mad about it. Um, so I'm uh, I have Audible, which I listen to Audible's, you know, books that are included. I also, you know, get the monthly subscription of one book a month. And then with Kindle, I pick the daily deals and things, and I also get Kindle Unlimited. Um, and then of course I have the library as well. I also, if you checked out my last uh, video you would see the books that I have in the library at the moment on my app so yeah I am surrounded by books and <laughs> I don't know if I have enough hours in the day to read them all but I will find the time so thank you for joining me for this video today um I love hauls I will be doing more of them and yeah if you like this video please like and subscribe it would mean the world to me I'm just on the beginning of my bookish journey um with YouTube and you know book talk and bookstagram and all that kind of stuff and I'm loving it so far the book community is so lovely and I'm really really enjoying it I am planning to release at least one video a week for you guys and sometimes more and I am starting vlogging now as well very um very soon so it's all exciting it's all a go and i'm really really happy about where i am right now and where i'm going so if you are a booktuber or if you have you know a book social media or anything like that leave me a comment down below i'd love to check it out i'd love to do maybe a buddy read with you or something like that if you're not then 
let me know what you're reading. Are you excited about it? Um, any recommendations you have for me for the upcoming six months? Um, or if you've read any of these books, what did you think of them? But no spoilers, please. But I do want to know, well, did you rate them or, you know, did you regret them? I want to know it all. So thank you so much and I will see you again very, very soon. Bye.